You're watching Bull Sessions and the Bing Lounge with me, Mickey Guyton. So, Mickey, uh, you're on your first radio tour. Yes, I am. New on the road. How many uh, cities have you hit so far? I have no freaking clue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do you even know where know. you're at tonight? I do. Oh, okay. I'm in Portland only because I went to uh, Voodoo Donuts today, and I will never forget that. Yeah, I mean, Paige, her record rep, loves Voodoo Donuts, so oh every time Paige God, comes to town, it's her first uh, stop. The caramel maple. Maple bacon bar? Oh. Yeah, good stuff. It's so good. I know, it's good stuff. So on your first radio tour, you've traveled to many different cities and a couple different markets. Yeah. Uh, what's been your best memory so far? Oh, man. You've got to have one. I mean, there's. I'm sure there's some great stories on the road, like... You know, oh, my God. Um, one of my favorite memories, I'd say, is just being in the car with this guy. <laughs> what does Chris do that no one should know? You know, you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> What's his guilty pleasure? Oh, my God. So we've... No, 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 no. Great. Lately, I no, say. I swear, like, we have this thing with gushers. Mm -hmm. And we have gone to Target... On like two or three different occasions, and bought like boxes gushers, of runs. gushers. Like yeah. we have like one more box left. Like it is bad. Like so, so when we bad. pass the van outside, it's gonna be like that college car. There's clothes yes. everywhere and, and gushers, gushers everywhere. And water bottles. And gushers. <laughs> yeah. It's something about those fruit snacks. Man. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So you are a big um, social media freak. I see you on Facebook, <laughs> Instagram, Twitter. You're like my buddy B Dub, who does everything I'm trying. by I'm social trying. media. I'm trying. I'm trying to be annoying. Do you take care it. of your stuff yourself, or do, do you have a team that does it? For you. I do. When it comes to shows, I don't really like to be like, hey, promote myself. So I'll have a team do that, but everything else is all me. Right. Because yeah. I noticed you did a, um, like a behind the scenes. Yeah. And you were, oh, that's you me. were doing gymnastics. <laughs> and you did it in that high heels. I'm like, that's a talented <laughs> girl. She could sing and do gymnastics in high heels. That was me. Yeah. That was me. Very cool. And I noticed <laughs> that you're a hat girl. I do. How many hats do you have? I don't know. But I wear them only because, like, those days where you just can't get your hair right. You just throw a hat on. It makes it all better. Do you prefer, do you prefer like, a baseball cap or, like, a derby cap? Baseball. Okay, good. I was just checking. Yeah. All right, just making sure. Chris, how long have you been playing? Uh, man, since I was a kid. Oh, okay, cool. I mean, I'm I was sorry. 10, 10, 11 years old, maybe somewhere in there. Right on. Yeah. Mickey, do your parents get a chance to check you out, come on the road with you every now and then and, and see? No, they don't, but they really want to. Yeah? So we can yeah. say hi to them on the Coors Country my mom, So I have a nephew that my mom watches when my brother and his wife go to school, so she can't really get away. Yeah? Tell them I said hi. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, uh, for those of you who don't know, you get a chance to go home tonight and look on Mickey's uh, Facebook page. She actually had the experience of a lifetime, spent four days in Washington, D.C., got the chance to perform live for the First Lady and President Obama. Pretty amazing. What was that like? It was the scariest, most amazing moment of my life. Like, I went through so many obstacles just to get to the point of singing in front of them. Like, it was a four-day process, and, like, we had... I had to get over being at the White House and singing at the White House. Like, that was crazy in itself. And then I had to get over singing in front of my peers at the White House because there was, like, James Taylor and Chris Christopherson, and La I know. Girl, I know. I was freaking <laughs> out. I was freaking out. And La and Lyle Lovett was there. I mean, I was... It was just crazy, and everybody's performed so many times, and I have, like... It was, like, my first time, so I was just, like freaking out I couldn't eat anything I was I called before the actual show like I called uh, my mom and I was like mom I can't do it my throat is closing <laughs> up like I can't do it I can't and then I was like have the church pray for me I don't think I can do it and then um I finally uh when they said Mickey it's time for you to walk out there like the president even said my name which was crazy too but um, I walked out there, and I swear, like it was like I looked around, and everybody looked so nice. And then, like it was like a blanket of nerves, like came off of me. And then I just sang. It was cool. Wow, that's amazing. That's awesome. very cool. Did they have to do like a CIA background check on oh, you to make sure you're all cool? Full, full thing. Like it took <laughs> like an hour just to get into the White House. And then I was like, I was filming in the White House, and I got in oh. trouble because you're not supposed to do that. But I didn't know. Hey, it's your first time. You got to yeah, do it, right? You don't know when you're coming back. You're like, ma'am, ma'am. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> So your new single came out on October 14th. Yes. Um, digitally. Digitally, right. Have you had a chance to hear it yet 
on the radio anywhere? And if you have, what was that feeling to you at first? Like, oh my God, this is like really happening right now. It's unbelievable. It doesn't feel real. So one of my first radio stations, they just put it on the radio for me. They'll play it like that day. So I was in the car and we were driving back and um, it's weird. Like you, you still feel like you're hearing the recording. And so it's really hard to like be on the other side of it and just not think of it like that. It just doesn't feel real. Wow. It's really, really cool. So when it reaches number one on the Billboard charts and you <laughs> score all this money. Oh, I'll cry. cry. What's, what's okay. the first big splurge you're going to buy with that million dollar paycheck? <laughs> I... <laughs> 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 when you get five cents a copy or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that'll be funny. But my parents, my parents have supported me through a lot of this. And it's hard being an artist. Like people think like you get a record deal and you've made it. And it's just not the case. And so I've had to, you know, hit up my parents like I need your help. And so I would get a new roof over their house. Oh, that's what I would do. Very sweet. Oh, that's got to make them proud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very cool. All right. Well, we got time for a couple more songs. So ladies and gentlemen, Miss Becky Guyton. Thank you. Thank you.